What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have this Honda Odyssey 2010 and we're gonna do a ECU update on this car. So uh, the car doesn't have any problems at all. It doesn't have any check engine light, just the service light on. But we're gonna do an update and the way we're gonna update the computer on this car is by using this program called Diagnostic System IHTS. This is the software used from Honda Leadership and you can actually get this program if you pay uh, $30 at the website. You can get it there and once you get it, it's gonna give you a download link to download it, install it, and it's gonna update and everything. So right now I'm uh, starting the program and as you can see, this is gonna be the interface of Honda Diagnostic System. Uh, here you can connect to the vehicle, here you have the stored data like live data um, recordings and stuff, uh, immobilizer setup tool that's to program the key or an immobilizer box if you changed it. Uh, so this is where the real stuff gets more good. This is the J2534 rewrite, that's the software used to reprogram the computer on this car and we're gonna be using that software today so right now i have the car with a charger over there as you can see the hood is open um it's charging right now so it's really important you have a charger because if the battery dies or something it can corrupt the computer or even break it so we don't want that and also make sure you have battery full on computer too or a charger uh the computer uh, i mean the battery on this computer lasts a long time as you can see for hours so I'm gonna hit that one J2534 the version that I have is 1.2 and here is if you have a service bulletin number or anything just just type it in but I don't have any so I'm gonna start and it says right here on the ECU programming um, it says that the database has been updated until July 20. 20 um, on the new ones it's gonna be 2021 but I have this older older one because the car is 2010 so obviously it's like 10 years ahead so I'm gonna hit start and I'm gonna hit next and it says battery booster while programming like I said connect the PCM turn everything on and click next and it's already communicating with the car uh, also, you make sure you have uh, a driver for your tool and here as you can see it's uh, detecting two systems, the computer for the transmission and the computer for the ABS and we're gonna update those two. Once it detects something here, uh, that means there's an update for, for that one. So it's still scanning the whole system but I think it's the only one that it has, only two. So I'm gonna wait for this box to uh, light up, that way I can select it. Alright, so the box is already uh, lit and I'm going to press the select button right here. And it says right here we have an available update system. That's the old, the current program ID, it ends with A210. And the new one, it's gonna be this one, 378RBO824. That's gonna be the new update. So we're gonna press enter and it says uh, to go enter again. And it's gonna program it. And we see here some lights turned off right now. So that means it's programming and I'm just gonna wait. I'll be back once this is 100% and let's see what happens. All right guys, so as you can see, it's a 90% and I'm just waiting for it to finish. To 95 percent and we should see the lights some lights come on again because it's on programming mode so it says turn ignition off it's off and then i'm gonna wait it says turn ignition on within 60 seconds and we should see some lights yeah we have those again and it says you see your programming has been completed so I'm gonna print this so I can give that to the customer and I'm going to press okay 
And do you want to replace up monitor? Yes. And it should print in a little bit. Yeah, it's printing. Okay, so the next one is going to be the ABS. That's going to be the next update. So I'm going to start, select, and it may take 10 seconds or longer. All right, so let's just wait. All right, so the update for this one is almost done. We are at 90% and this one is a little bit slower than updating the computer. This one is updating the ABS module. So it takes a little bit of time. All right, so it's done and it's asking me to turn off the switch. Switch is off. And now we're gonna turn it on, 50 seconds to go. And it says PC sensor in neutral position, memorization is required. So we have to program the, I believe the steering sensor and hello, another one. So I'm gonna bring my scanner and adjust all those things. All right, I'm going to use the scanner because I think it's so slow and I, I don't think it's working, but it worked fine for the programming of the ECU. I'm just going to use the Honda with the scanner because it's going to be a lot easier. And I'm just going to select the system, which is going to be the ABS because we need to do a reset for all of it. As you can see, it started, but it's not loading. I believe the problem is because I have a 64 bit version and it needs a 32 bit. That's why it's like that. So it's Europe, I mean USA, not Europe. And diagnostics, control unit, and ABS. Gonna wait for communication with this car. Come on, come on, come on. System initializing. And we don't have any lights, but we have that light right there that we need to reset probably if I turn it on it's gonna stay there yep stays there so that's the thing we have to do the reset for recalibrate everything There's a lot of noise out there. People are working on that engine right there. Communication with you was successful. Okay, press okay. And now we're gonna do special functions. I think it's gonna be here. Um, it's gonna be on adjustments then all sensors yep after replacing this here you're gonna do yeah we have to do do neutron position memorization steering brake pre-pressure lateral G sensor all that so we're gonna press ok and we gotta make sure the steering wheel is straight it says vehicle stop uh, pedal of the I mean foot of the pedal Steering wheel, steering wheel should be straight and the brake pedal is not pressed. All right, so we press OK, press OK, and we see the flash I mean, the light flashing. So we press OK, turn the ignition switch off, and we should see the light go off in a little bit. And then and there you go, it's off. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's that's pretty good. All right, good. So this will be the end of the video, guys. This is how you program or update the computer on this 2010 Honda Odyssey. It applies for many other models. I believe you can do this with that program from 2003 all the way to this year. All computers are reprogrammable, I believe, except for Hondas or I believe other cars, but it's the same. So if you like the video guys, please subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you have any questions, turn on notifications, and I'll see you on the next episode. JB Fix out guys, bye.